Hey, welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and welcome to part 3 of the R Lake Burke Destroyer by Sketsy. So, here's what it looks like so far from the last part. If you haven't already, please watch the other parts. So, this is uh, part 3, and we're going to be working on this yet again. Now, hopefully, we're going to finish the tutorial in this last video. So, first off, let's go back up to the Destroyer. Let's take Stone Block, go right to this bridge, and we're going to add 4 diagonal stone blocks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4... And behind that, we're going to add another 4 diagonally, like so. And then we're going to add, well, we're going to replace these slabs underneath with stone. So it looks like this. Then we're going to take another brick um, fence, place one right here. And let's place it so it's two blocks tall. And let's place a skeleton skull on top. And let's try to make it straight. Then we're going to go... Um, skip this row right over here and add uh, another brick fence here and let's place a, f a dark oak wood fence gate like that all right then we're gonna move on down over here and we're gonna add another one of these things so let's go right to where this 2 by 2 vent is the front of it we're gonna go down 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 to this layer where it divides and we're gonna add three cobblestone walls on top and then four on the bottom. So one, two, three, four reaches down to the water level. Then we're gonna add another one of these. We're gonna go to like this red circle. And after it, we're gonna skip three. So one, two, three, and the one after it. We're gonna go all the way down to this division. And let's add three cobs and walls on the top part. And four on the bottom part, like so. All right, then we're going to go to the back of this part, down below to this first notch at the bottom, and then we're going to skip three blocks. And let's place a cobblestone wall like that. Let's make it two blocks tall. Then we're going to go dangly up, make it three blocks tall. And then we're going to go dangly up one block and then add a two by four. So four blocks tall, like so. And then at the very top, we're going to go back in the middle. Let's add another two by four. like so and then right over here we're going to add um, two facing each other sorry hypers in my video uh, two stone brick stairs facing each other another pair on top of that and then two stone brick blocks next to each other like so then we're going to add a skull and skull right over here on the side of it and dark oak wood fence gates lining up this part so it's going to be like a ladder and let's open that all up then on the top section we're going to add two blocks of stone brick slab with a skeleton skull in the front and the back of it and that's how you make that crane so next we're going to move on to the back section let's go over here to this notch go inside a block and let's add two gray concretes like so then we're going to take stone block and we're going to make it two blocks tall extend it just before this area right over there and then uh, it's gonna like wrap around that corner like so all right so for the next layer we're gonna take uh, stone brick and go over here let's add four blocks one two three four and extend it towards the center again like that and then we're gonna take stone brick and add it towards the front of it wrap that all the way around like so next we're going to take stone block and place it on top of where the stone brick is all the way wrap that around and um, in this front area wrap it around that as well just on the stone brick part and for our next layer uh, we're going to take a stone but this time we're going to go in a block here it's kind of like a two by three like that and then we're going to extend that all the way um, to the front but just leave a block of space in the front so extend that all the way but uh, leave that stone block alone once, once we get to that edge like that and wrap it around again like so and then we're gonna move back over here and um, all right then we're gonna line that up with the end of this 2x2 two two. just go right above that block before it and set stone on top, two blocks tall, like so. And then we're going to wrap that around uh, the front area. 
wrap that all the way around. And this part in the front, we're going to extend that towards the center as well. Like so. All right. All right, next on the top layer, we're going to skip four away from the edge. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to add stone brick slab. Let's make it four blocks long. And then we're going to add four stone blocks. One, two, three, four. And at the very edge, we're going to go down a block. Let's add three blocks of stone brick. And then we're going to add three blocks of upper stone brick slabs, like so. All right. Then in the middle, we're going to have another brick fence. Uh, place that two blocks, like that. And let's place um, a fence gate, a dark oak wood fence gate, right there in the middle. All right, so now we're going to take out a gray concrete. Go over to this section here, and we're going to fill in the middle area, the floor with uh, gray concrete, like so. And the same thing with the next layer. And same thing with the top layer, just fill that in, gray concrete, all the way, like so. And then we're going to add in a stone block, wrap that around, like so. Let's take also um, another brick fence right over here. And we're going to take out an end rod. And we're going to place it on top of this uh, nether brick fence. Let's make it two blocks tall. And then we're going to go diagonally add another end rod. I'm going to have to place a block temporarily so I can place it right. And we're going to make this one three blocks tall. Then we're going to go diagonally again. Place an end rod. And then we're going to make that one three blocks tall. And do the same thing. Another one, three blocks tall. And right at the tip, there's one that's uh, two blocks tall of end rods, like so. So it's pretty much like two, three, 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 two. Two, three, 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 yep. And then once we do that, we're going to add also um, an iron bar right behind that nether brick um, fence right there. Now for the actual um, smokestack or whatever this chimney thing is, we're going to add um, a plus sign right over here or like half a plus sign since we're only building half the ship. And then we're going to skip a block and add two uh, black concretes in the center, skip a block and add another V-shape here. Then where the V-shapes are, we're going to add like a U-shape like that or it's like a C and then we're going to make that two blocks tall. Same thing on the other one. And then we're going to take black stained uh, glass pane and wrap that around like the top section of the, um, I guess, the funnel. Yeah, just leave like the corners alone. Do the other one as well. Black stained glass panes. And then we're going to raise up this middle area. Let's make it two blocks taller, like so. All right, so then we're gonna go back over here and then we're gonna delete these two blocks and then move them inwards with a stone brick block and a stone block. And they're gonna like move that section of one block forward. Cause I made a little mistake, not that big of a deal, but gotta fix it. And just move that one block forward and fill in this part with a uh, gray concrete. So it should be like Four blocks long gray concrete and four blocks long gray concrete here. Next, we're gonna take stone, um, I mean iron bars, and wrap that around the edges like this. Then we'd go on the inside part, uh, skip a block in the center, and let's place um, a stone brick stairs facing back with a stone block, two blocks tall, right behind it like so. And then on the side of that, we're going to add two cobblestone walls like so. And on top of that, we're going to add an upside down um, quartz stairs like that. With uh, quartz stairs in the front of that facing the front. And upside down quartz stairs facing outwards on uh, underneath that one. And the middle part, we're going to add a quartz block. And for this top section, Let's add a quartz stairs with a quartz block center of that 
and let's place another quartz block underneath that. And the middle part, we're going to add two end rods with a skeleton skull at the tip of it. And then we're going to place a dark oak wood fence gate right underneath that um, end rod in the front and open that up. So it looks like this. And we want to have the same exact thing on this layer. So just give a block and add stone brick stairs, two stone blocks, uh, two cobblestone walls, um, an upside down quartz stairs with a quartz stairs in front of it, and another upside down one underneath this part facing outwards. Quartz block in the middle and um, right above here another quartz stairs facing outwards and then two quartz blocks here. Then we're going to place two end rods and I don't have end rods anymore for some reason. So place two end rods right there with a skeleton skull and I need to grab it once again. Place that at the tip and last but not least dark oak wood fence gate open that up. So we got our two of these radar dishes I guess. Alright next we're going to take end rods go down over here so add two end rods right there. Place the block temporarily, place an end rod right there. So line that up and that's going to go all the way across the side. And just continue this end rod pattern all the way across. And then we're going to um, wrap that around the front part. So once you get over here, pretty much uh, just wrap it around place a block temporarily there, add more end rods, like so. Now for the next layer, go back towards the front area, let's add a block temporarily here, add end rod again, and we're going to continue that all the way, wrap that around. So there should be a gap of space between this end rod and the end rod below it. Once we get off to the corner, let's place a block temporarily, put more end rods, and wrap that around the corner like so. So we got those two end rod rows. All right, next we're at the back and we're gonna place some stone blocks. And we're gonna go right to where this uh, red carpet is, uh, the stone underneath. We're just gonna extend that all the way to the bottom where the deck is. And extend the rest towards the center. Just add stone like so. All right, once we're up to that level, we're going to um, go right over here. Underneath that red carpet, we're going to add, well, we're going to actually skip uh, two stone blocks, and we're going to place an iron trap door on the side of the third one. And I'm going to wrap that around the front area, and we're going to add two to the side. Then underneath, um, just skip the center. Let's add dark oak wood fence gate. Skip a block, dark oak wood fence gate. And on the side, dark oak wood fence gate facing the back. Next, we're going to add iron bars and wrap that around uh, the exterior of this um, iron shaft door. And across this side as well. So it should look like this. All right, now let's work on the mass. So let's go over here to the center. And then we're going to count two notches up. So this is first notch, one notch. After the second notch, we're going to skip a block add stone brick stairs, add another upside down stone brick stairs diagonally back and another one diagonally back like so and then we're going to add two stone brick slabs sticking out and then we're going to add uh, end rods uh, we're going to add that two blocks tall right there in the center then we're going to take stone brick slabs and we're going to extend it towards the actual mass make this one floor like that and we're going to add like two um, stone brick slabs like that. Actually, we're going to make it three blocks like that. And let's add another three stone brick slabs like so. Then we're going to take iron bars and let's take that. Let's add an L shape right here. Like so. And then next we're going to go over here to the side. Let's add a diagonally um, iron trap door like that. And we're going to place a skeleton skull on top, like so. Alright, then we're going to go to the next layer right over here to this notch. Let's place a stone brick slab there. 
and dangling up, we're going to add it so it's three blocks or three slabs. One, two, three. Then we're going to go back dangling and add another slab, make it three blocks dangling up. Like so. So we got three, three, and then we're going to add another three. Dangling backwards up. So it should be like this, three, three, three. All right. And once we're at this point, we're going to make like this top one double. And we're going to add four more slabs sticking out. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to add stone brick slabs all the way back to the center. Just a straight line across. Like so. So next we're going to go right over here. Just skip these two stone brick slabs. Make this double. Skip two. Add another double one. So that we have these three. Then we're going to take um, another brick slab. Let's go to the front. Add one in the front at the edge. Skip a block. Another one. Skip a block, another one, skip one, another one, skip one, another one, skip one, another one, until we reach that part. Then we just stop there. And let's add um, iron trap doors underneath all of that. And then we're going to add iron trap doors all the way across, like so, until we reach the end where that um, last nether brick fence is. Once we do that, we're going to go to the edge here, skip a block, and add a cobblestone wall. Then we're going to add skull and skull on either side of it, like so, and then two end rods on top of that cobblestone wall, like so. Then we're going to go to this third nether brick fence right behind it. We're going to add some more nether brick fences, make it five blocks tall. Two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go between these two fences and add end rods two blocks tall, like that. And then we're going to add a stone brick stairs. Right here in this nook, we're going to make it three blocks long, so one, two, and three. And let's also extend this um, iron trap door. Apparently, I didn't go all the way, so like that. Now we're going to take a stone brick slab, go at it right here. In front of this uh, upside down stairs, we're going to make it just a stone brick slab, and then we're going to add it diagonally towards the center, fill that middle part in like that. So it looks like this. So this center block is going to be six blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. At the tip, we're going to make this two blocks long, and let's add an upside down stone brick stairs underneath it. And we want to make sure that it goes diagonally, so I'm going to place some blocks temporarily just to help it out. Just go all the way diagonally down, and let's place upside down stone brick stairs like so, and then delete these blocks. So it looks like this, and then right behind it, we're going to add another uh, stone bricks uh, slab like that. Then we're going to take out uh, iron bars, go up to the side over here. Let's add three stone iron bars, I mean. And then we're going to go diagonally, wrap that around, and we want to wrap that around towards the front area. So go over here, wrap that around the center, and in the center, we're going to place a cobblestone wall like that. And let's place a birch fence on top of that, like so. And then we're going to place two iron trap doors like that. Then we're going to go back over here. Let's add um, another brick fence and a skeleton skull on top of that, like so. So then we're going to move on to the next part. Let's go up here to this notch. And we're going to go diagonally forward, add upside down stone brick stairs. Go diagonally forward again, another upside down stone brick stairs. Then we're going to add a stone brick slabs, two blocks behind it. And let's add two in the center. Then we're going to add uh, iron bars in the front, two of them. And then open um, dark oak wood fence gate right behind it. Let's place it right there and open that up. And then we're going to place dark oak wood fence gate right behind that iron bars on the side. And in this gap right here, we're going to place an upper stone brick slab let's make it three blocks long like so all right so and then we're going to move down over here to this notch let's add um stone brick slab right there and then another three so it's like three diagonally in total so like that then we're going to go diagonally back let's add four this time so one 
two, three, and four. So one, two, three, four. All right, so at the fourth one, we're gonna make that double. And we're gonna add three more slabs to the side of that. Then we're gonna connect that part to um, the hole, or rather the mass. So extend that back like so. Then we're gonna replace these two slabs with uh, stone brick stairs upside down like that. Then we're gonna skip a block, make this double stone brick slab. Then let's go to the tip, skip one block, and place four uh, another brick fences on top of each other like so then um, in the back of this part let's add another brick fence here skip a block add another one skip a block another one skip one another one and then we're going to add um, iron trap doors underneath the fence and we're going to connect them all together so it lines up correctly like so so next we're going to go on top here let's add cobblestone wall like that and upside down stone brick stairs on top. Then um, on the side, let's add an iron trap door, two blocks long like that. Then we'd go dangling here and add three blocks long, iron trap door, and add another iron trap door right there in the back. Fill in the center, like so, iron trap door, and the middle with this hole, let's place a gray wool block like so. Now on top of the gray wool, we would place uh, three cobblestone walls and another cobblestone wall behind the upper one. Then another brick fence on top. Cobblestone wall on top of that. And then we take another brick uh, fence two blocks tall. And then another one behind the top one, make that two blocks tall as well. And then there will be a quartz slab, like so. And then an iron trap, no, <laughs> iron fence on top. Iron bar, I mean, sorry, like that. And let's add an end rod also. We want that on the side of this cobblestone wall, like so. Next, we're gonna make the railing. So we're gonna go to the front of this iron trap door. Let's place a stone brick slab like that. And then a stone brick stairs on the side of that. Go diagonally back, another stone brick stairs. And then diagonally uh, back stone brick stairs, but we wanna face that towards the front. Then we're going to place a slab and then a stairs facing the other direction. And then for this area, let's have stairs diagonally facing outwards. And behind that, another one diagonally facing outwards again. And then a stone brick slab like so. Then we're going to take um, light gray wool carpet, just add a row across all the stairs and the slabs. So it's like a nice railing. Now for this middle area, we're going to place a cobblestone wall like that. Then we're going to place two stone blocks on top of that and a stone brick slab on top of that. And then we're going to add um, light gray glass pane and just pretty much wrap that around that part, just half of it since we're only making half the ship. Looks like this. Let's also fill in the floor with gray carpet like so. So it's, so it's all one color. Cool. All right, next we're gonna move down over here. Let's add three iron trap doors underneath that iron bars. Then we're gonna go move on to the back. And it turns out uh, this is actually supposed to be only one end rod for this Swiss cannon. So just make it like that, just like we did in the front. And now let's move on towards the side. And uh, right where we have this section, we're gonna take out a stone brick slab. Let's go diagonally add one here then we'd add two stone brick slabs there and then this part's gonna be three and then we want to angle it down so like there's like a little support beam like that and then we're gonna add uh, two by three stone brick slabs again add another support beam here okay block a space between that one and an L shape like that then we're gonna add iron trap door at the tips just the block on top like that and then the center let's add in two stone blocks like that on top three blocks wide stone brick slabs underneath that would make a double stone slab like that either side behind we're going to add um, skeleton skull and in the front we're going to add three blocks wide cobblestone wall and then cobblestone wall in the front and the back and 
and a skeleton skull on top of this cobblestone wall in the middle. And then we're going to add iron um, bars. Go right up here to the side, just add a railing. Goes diagonally around the gun a little bit. And then and on the side, we want to add an iron trap door right there. And let's add iron bars. Wrap that around like so. It's just like a little zigzag. All right, so now we're going to add the rigging. So let's go over here towards the top part. Let's add a block. We're going to use this temporarily. I'm going to use a lime wall for this. Just add a block right here. Uh, dangling outwards, downwards. We're going to add one. Dangling forward, one. Dangling forward, one. And then we're going to make this part three blocks long. Tall, mean. <laughs> dangling outwards, one. Dangling forward, one. Dangling forward, uh, one. We're gonna make this two blocks um, tall, then diagonally outwards, one again, diagonally forward, uh, one, and we're gonna make this two blocks tall. And then we're gonna go um, to the bottom area. Go right over here, just place some blocks. And you wanna go forward um, in front of this end rod, like that. And let's place this block here and uh, go diagonally back, one. Go diagonally towards the middle, one. Go diagonally back, one, and make that two blocks tall. Don't diagonally back towards the middle, another one. And diagonally back, one. Diagonally back, one. Diagonally back, one. And next one, I'm gonna go towards the side, like that. Add one here. And I'm gonna make that two blocks tall. Then behind that, diagonally back, one. So it should connect. Looks like this right now. Now we're going to take um, iron bars and add it to the side of each of these uh, lime wool blocks. It's a lot easier just having that scaffolding first. So I can place these and then we delete these uh, temporarily blocks so it doesn't look like an eyesore. Um, so yeah, just delete these blocks and then we should have our rigging for the front area. There's also rigging in the back and you can also add this to add an American flag. This build actually doesn't have an American flag, so it is up to you if you want to add it or not. So there we have the front part, now let's work on the back. So before we start the rigging in the back, I need to delete these end rod blocks. They need to actually be um, one block taller, right where that stairs is supposed to be, like that. Alright, so once we fix that, I'm going to make the outside rigging. So we're going to do the same thing in the front, using a template first. So let's go over here towards the side. Let's add uh, two lime wool blocks. Go diagonally outwards, two more lime wool blocks. And then we'd go diagonally forward. Add two more. And then we'd go diagonally towards the side, add another two. Then diagonally forward, add another two. And then diagonally towards the side, another two. Diagonally forward, uh, two blocks tall. Diagonally outwards, another two, like that. So we got uh, two, 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 and let's add another one. So diagonally forward, two blocks. Diagonally towards the side, two blocks, like that. All right. Then we're going to move on towards um, the bottom. We're going to do like the third pair of these. So this is one pair, two pair, the third pair. And at the third pair, the first one here, uh, let's go skip a block in between and add another two right there. So then we're going to go diagonally towards the side, make it two blocks tall, diagonally forward, one, diagonally towards the side, two blocks tall, diagonally towards the side, one, Diagonally forward, two blocks tall, and then diagonally towards the side, one block. So we got this nice shape that we have here. Then we'd go also down over here. All right, you see like this notch over here, go down here, and then um, let's go towards the side, add one like that. And um, yeah, that's for the outer edge. Now, what we have to do. We're going to place um, iron bars to the side of it. And let's do that right now. So let's go to the side, just add iron bars sticking out 
just on the side all the way across till we reach that part there and then we're gonna like delete these outer blocks that we replaced and place these inner blocks and then delete it place these inner blocks delete it and yeah just keep on doing that till we reach all the sections and we should be good to go so yeah we have our outside scaffolding now we're gonna work on the inside part all right so we're gonna add the middle rigging so let's go over to this nether brick uh, fence underneath this one underneath that iron trap door let's add four lime wall blocks with scaffolding go downly towards the middle let's add three downly uh, backwards let's add one downly towards the center and add this so it is um, four blocks so one two three and four all right so let's go back to the top part skip two blocks of space in between and add it so it's five blocks long so one two three four five then we'd go um, diagonally towards the side let's add here two blocks tall like that and then we'd go forward diagonally or actually backwards diagonally add one let's make it three blocks long and then we'd go diagonally towards the center add it here make it three blocks tall as well and then we're gonna move on over here go diagonally towards the center add one here then diagonally backwards add another one make it three blocks tall then diagonally towards the center again make it four blocks tall so one two three four and let's go back over here to this part and let's um let's see what we can do here uh we're gonna go diagonally back at one let's make it three blocks tall diagonally towards the center make it four blocks tall like that and then we're gonna go diagonally backwards again add one here and let's make it two blocks wide and then this side we're gonna make it three blocks tall then we're gonna move down over here let's add a two by four four blocks tall of this slime wall like that and over here on this part let's make this part block tall and then another one but we're gonna go back like that and that's how it is all right, so once we have this uh, scaffolding done, now we can add iron bars. Just add it right behind each of these um, lime wall blocks. Go all the way across, like so. And even this part is going to make this double. Then, uh, after you place all of these blocks down, you know what to do. Just delete these uh, lime wall once you're done with them because they're not there forever. So just delete them, delete, delete, delete. And we need to do it this way because it's the easiest way. <laughs> we don't want to do it the hard way. And I admit this tutorial is quite challenging to do. I never thought it would be this long, but there is so much detail in this build, but that's a good thing. All right, so yeah, that is the rigging. All right, so next we're gonna add a door to the bridge, go to the side, place an iron door in this hole here. And then we're gonna move on to the front and let's add uh, stone brick slabs, make a double, uh, two blocks um, wide and then three blocks long like that towards center. So it looks like this. Then we're gonna move on to the side here. Let's add two acacia fence gates and open that up. And let's place a red glass pane right there at the bottom. So now we're done with the symmetric parts. Now you just have to flip it the other direction, which I will do with World Edit. Okay, so here's what it looks like once we flipped it up the other direction. Looks very nice so far, but we still got a lot more work to do. So let's go on towards the back. And we go down over here. So once we're at the back, we would take a stone block, add it underneath the iron bar. Dark oak wood button um, behind it. On the sides, we're gonna add light gray glass panes like so. Then we're gonna move down below and let's add cyan terracotta. Let's go right over here. 
Let's make it uh, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's fill that in. Say on terracotta. Then skip two blocks. And we're going to add four cyan terracotta. So this is going to be the name of the destroyer. Then over here, we're going to extend this uh, iron bars um, two blocks. And we're going to make that the same height, like so. And then we're going to add uh, two by two right next to this area using the cobblestone stairs. And yeah, they're just gonna be next to each other, just like two circles. Like so, and we're done with the back. Now let's work on the deck area. So for that area, we're gonna take out a cobblestone or stone brick slabs, skip a block here, and skip, actually skip two blocks and add a double stone brick slab, another stone brick slab on top. Now the sides are going to add upper stone brick slabs, then a cobblestone wall on the sides, and then birch fence. We're going to make it six blocks tall, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Another one on top of the other cobblestone wall. And you want to make sure it looks like that. Then we would go diagonally towards this one, add a stone block here with a stone brick slab on top. Now we're going to add a line that goes across uh, the helipad. So we're going to take out quartz, go right to this corner here. All right, and then add quartz back here. Another one diagonally. Then go right towards the front. We're going to use quartz slab. Um, diagonally two blocks. Long, diagonally one. Diagonally two. Diagonally one. Actually, this part's actually two. And then just fill that in, court slabs, like so. Then we'll move on to this area, um, punch a hole right here, diagonally, and add two here. And then the other side, we're going to add two like that. And then there will be one here. And another one on the other side. Then just fill that in, quartz again. And if you want a bird's eye view, this is what it looks like so far. Okay, so then we're going to go diagonally, add one. Actually, this one's going to be two. Diagonally one, go right over here, diagonally one. And then we have to replace these two blocks with quartz. Then diagonally, quartz slab, diagonally, quartz slab. Diagonally, I think. Actually, no, <laughs> just go forward back. Uh, quartz block, diagonally, quartz, diagonally, two quartz, diagonally, two quartz, diagonally, one quartz. So we got this nice stripe that goes along. And uh, for some reason, sometimes when you do world it, I think stuff disappears, but I don't know why. Yeah. There's like an invisible skull right there, so just make sure that exists. And then we're going to add some more detail. Go right over here, the edge of the circle, and place that quartz slab there. Another quartz slab, sort of dangling up. Then we're going to go down over here and add, uh, skip these two slabs here, punch a hole, place the quartz slab, and another one in the same row right around here like that. So it lines up with that little nook right there. So this is what it looks like. For the next step, we're going to move over here. Then we're going to skip this uh, stone and we're going to place stone brick stairs. And we want to make sure it goes down, like down towards the deck floor. Then the stone right after, we want to make sure that it is going to be seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we want to make sure this part right over here is going to be seven long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's going to be seven, actually nine blocks this wide. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, and then it's going to go 7 back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that's 7. Right over here, we'll place uh, stone brick stairs, and you want to make sure it goes down, diagonally down like so, like these blocks. All right, cool, cool. So now we're going to take out our iron bars and add it to the side of the stairs. So uh, let's extend it. Just wrap that all the way around towards the top part. And this part, just go extend that all the way around for this part. Same thing on the other side, of course. You want to make sure it's nice, very nice. And then it's going to go up here, wrap that around the side, over here towards the outside part. Then it goes inside and then make room for the staircase and we just want to have it on the side of the stairs again. And um, this side is actually different from the other side so on this side um, we'll have to build something else. So on this side we're going to have to place uh, two upside down stonework stairs facing that direction and then stonework stairs facing the other direction. Two blocks like that. Same thing over here, so it's like a two by three of stairs basically. And then we're gonna place skeleton skull if we can get it. Uh, I have to grab it right now. Just add two of them like that diagonally. The middle is gonna be a cobblestone wall, which we should have. Two blocks in the middle. Then the rest is just um, iron bars like that. Now we're gonna take out stone and then we're gonna like fish this wall up, just cover that area up all the way across so it looks like this so far and then this top section just fill that in gray concrete all the way there we finished that flooring all right so next we're gonna go over here skip block add a three by three stone i'm gonna make it two blocks tall then on top we're gonna make uh, I guess four leaf clover of <laughs> a black concrete like that and another uh, another brick slab layer on top of that. Let's add iron bars to the sides, corners like that. And for this part there's going to be a acacia fence gate, open that up and then delete these two stone blocks and replace them with upside down stone brick stairs. Same thing on this side. And we're gonna like leave the other sides alone. So then we'd add four iron trap doors here. One, two, three, four. And actually delete this row of iron bars. I placed this wrong. Apparently it sticks out like that. So I guess you can walk around the missile area. Then down over here, uh, let's place out uh, another brick fence. Four blocks tall, like that. Then we're gonna take end rod, three blocks tall next to it like so and adjacent to that edge of the missile thing delete this block here and place a stone brick stairs then dialing towards that we're going to add two acacia fence gates open that up then back over here to this side let's add in actually replace this part two by two of black wool then we're going to add a two by two of stone brick stairs and we want to make a square with them and then we're going to add two uh, stone brick stairs on top like that. Then we're going to take cobblestone wall, add two like that. And then uh, another brick fence here. Skip a block, another one. And we're going to replace this area with a 2x2 two two, uh, polished andesite. And two iron bars down here. Let's see, there's a lot of detail in this. Uh, open acacia fence gate here, um, skeleton skull underneath, and then there's like a red terracotta. Uh, I need to grab it really quick. Red terracotta there, and it, this appears to be some kind of orange. Let's use orange concrete for that with a stone button on the side. Let's add another skeleton skull up there. 
And let's go move on to the side here and replace these three with, with polish andesite like this. Skip two blocks, add another two, polish andesite down. And then we're going to move on to this side. Let's replace these three stone, polish andesite. Skip a block, add a two by three, polish andesite. Add two acacia fence gates, open that up. Uh, let's see, cops a wall up here. And cops a wall up there and there. And then this side, there's like a two by two of gray concrete with another brick um, fence, sort of like a cane shape around it. And then there's also this part here, delete this, skip a block, delete that. In the middle, we're going to add a black wall. And let's place brick. Um, on the side of that. And on top of the brick, we're going to add an open uh, acacia fence gate, like so. Then we're going to add a stone button at the side of that, and add a stone button on the side right there, that door. And right above this part, there's going to be an end rod, which uh, is two blocks long. like so, and that should be it for this side. So for the other side, we're gonna go underneath the staircase, add two polished andesite blocks. Stone button on the side, diagonally, we're gonna add quartz block, stone button, and go over here, quartz block, stone button. Then we're gonna place a block temporarily here to place a skeleton skull on top, and a lever so it's connected, and should look like that. And over here, let's add end rods, and they're going to go all the way across, like so. So next, we're going to add some missiles. Go over here towards the center, skip a block of space in the middle, and add um, stone brick uh, stairs facing the left direction. <laughs> then a stone brick slab, stone brick stairs, skip a block, stone brick stairs facing the other direction, slab, and then stone brick stairs. Okay, so for this one, we're going to add two slabs and then two stairs facing the other direction. Same thing on the other parts. It's two slabs, two stairs, and then the other part is going to be the other direction. Two slabs, two stairs, like so. So then we're going to place polished andesite in the back on top of the stairs, two blocks tall, and iron trap door in between them. On top of that, three blocks wide, iron trap door, like so. Behind that, we're going to add some stone slabs. Double slab at the bottom, single stone slab on top of that, like so. Then the front, we're going to add, then we're going to add stone brick slabs diagonally, so one and two like that. With two cobs and walls like that, and another one in the front on the top section. So we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side, like this. Get our cobs and walls like that. And right on top of these double cobs and walls, we want to have double, double stone slabs, like that. And on top, we're going to add three blocks wide, iron trap door like that, and iron trap door in between here, then quartz right there at the tip with a quartz slab like that. Then we're going to take um, stone slabs and add it down diagonally. So it's going to go down, down diagonally until it reaches that part. Same thing on the other side. And then um, we want to make sure that, like each segment is going to be like four blocks um, tall of slabs. So you can see one, two, three, four like that. And that's pretty much it for this thing. All right, so you just basically do the same thing for the other rocket. Now, once we're done with that, we're gonna go to the side here and add stone blocks to make it three blocks long. One, two, three. On this side, the other side, we're gonna make it eight blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the asymmetrical part. 
Now for this segment, this is actually going to be 32 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And actually, you know what? Never mind. We don't need to count this. We just go wrap that all the way up to that front area like that. And the other side, we can just go over here. Add two stone blocks sticking out, then make this part four long, so one, two, three, four. Then we're going to add, goes outwards, two like that, diagonally outwards again, another two. And uh, then we're going to add diagonally back one, and then we're going to extend it to reach the other side. And then, once we do that, it'll be complete like that. Now let's make it uh, two blocks tall so extend that rest out like this all right there I made it two blocks tall now what you want to do is add iron bars and have that around the border of it just go wrap that all the way around all the way over here to that side and then the other side as well so once you filled all this area in with uh, iron bars we're going to fill the floor in with great concrete so fill that in so once you filled that floor in, we're going to move on towards the next level down here. And we want to wrap basically a border around this side here. So it's going to wrap three blocks tall. And maybe I'll just show you like the first layer so you know what to do. For the other layers, uh, this part just goes on the outer layer of the layer on top basically. And you want to wrap that around like so, but when we reach the other side, we're actually just going to go straight across. So once we reach this part, just go like that. Just go straight across. You don't have to go around that middle area. And the other side, let's uh, extend that out. Apparently I didn't do this block here, so let me fill that in. And just wrap it around, layer all the way around until we reach the other side. All right, so we're back here, just fill that in, and we're gonna make like this whole area three blocks tall. All right, so once we finish that layer up, we're gonna go over here to this side, and let's add in a ladder. So we're gonna add dark oak wood fence gates, open them up like that. Then we're gonna punch a hole right here so you can kind of climb inwards. Then we're going to go over here to the side, add some life boats, or I think they're life boats, I'm not sure, life rafts. So we're going to add double uh, stone slab, two blocks, and then dark oak wood fence gates underneath them, and then a two by uh, two of dark oak wood fence, like that, and then skip a block in between and add another double stone slab with uh, two of these dark oak wood fence gates like that. Then we're gonna skip a block of space and add another one. Just repeat the same thing over here. Just like we did earlier. Two by two. All right, then we're gonna move down over here. Let's add a upper stone brick slab. And then we're gonna have a stone brick stairs upside down facing each other two of them like that and then two slabs upper slabs and then stone brick stairs facing back slab stairs facing the front then a slab then another slab and then the stairs facing the back and then we're going to skip a block of space and let's add in i don't even have it right now so cobblestone wall Place that down, delete this block here, make it three blocks tall, this cobblestone wall, and make it go back one like that. Then we're gonna make, um, we're gonna add a layer of stone brick slabs above this part here, like so. Then we're gonna go up here adjacent to this cobblestone wall. Uh, just make another one of those <laughs> life things. So just double stone slabs like that dark oak wood fence gates underneath it and then a 2 by 2 dark oak wood fence. On the bottom we're going to add uh, two 
nether brick fences like that. And then we're going to add two iron bars down here. Then we're going to go to the back and add um, two by six of stone here. Six blocks long. Then we're going to take a cobblestone wall and let's add two here. And make this part three blocks long. And add one right up there in the middle. Then underneath this part, two acacia fence gates open that up. And then three stone brick slabs like that. Then we're going to take Polish andesite, replace these blocks, and place a stone block on the side of them. Then we're going to skip a block here, add two stone, and then two stone brick slabs on top of that. 